Keep calm and pray the Psalms for Saturday, the last day of the fourth week of Lenten Tide, the fourth the week of Latare. Tomorrow is the fifth Sunday, the fifth Sunday of Lenten Tide has a name as all the rest of them do. This one is Utica. Comes from an old intro, it Utica, judge, judge me, judge my case against an ungodly nation. This comes from the proverb, the, uh, the prophet, the prophets. The gospel for the reading will be that of the um, wicked tenants, I think is what it's called, the parable, where the wicked tenants think if they kill the heir, the son of the vineyard owner, then they can have the entire vineyard to themselves. And Jesus gives that snippet of, son, of Isaiah, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. It's all about how what God does is not, it doesn't fit our, our reason. It fits his will. God sending his son to save you and me, sinners as we are, doesn't fit our reason. But it is God's will for us. We will have divine service, Holy Communion. You are invited to come. I know I say that every Sunday, and every Sunday it's true. Please come and join us. Sing our sing God's for God's gifts. Receive God's gifts. Sing His praises. That's what I meant. Be the child of God that you are. But for now, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. In the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Psalm 31. To you, O Lord, do I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me. Incline your ear to me, rescue me speedily. Be a rock of refuge for me a strong fortress to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you lead me and guide me. You take me out of the net they have hidden for me. For you are my refuge. Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, faithful God. I hate those who regard those who pay regard to worthless idols, but I trust in the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad in your steadfast love, because you have seen my affliction, you have known my distress of my soul, and you have not delivered me into the hand of the enemy. You have set my feet on a broad place. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am in distress. My eye is wasted from grief, my soul and body also. For my life is spent with sorrow and my years with sighing. My strength fails because of my iniquity and my bones waste away. Because of all my adversaries, I have become a reproach, especially to my neighbors an object of dread to my acquaintances. Those who see me in the street flee from me. I have been forgotten like one who is dead. I have become like a broken vessel. For I hear the whispering of many, terror on every side, as they scheme together against me, as they plot to take my life. But I trust in you, O Lord, I say, you are my God. My times are in your hand. Rescue me from the hand of my enemies and from my persecutors. Make your face shine on your servant. Save me in your steadfast love. 
O Lord, let me not be put to shame, for I call upon you. Let the wicked be put to shame. Let them go silently to Sheol. Let the lying lips be mute, which speak insolent against the righteous in pride and contempt. O oh, how abundant is your goodness, which you have stored up for those who fear you, and worked for those who take refuge in you, in the sight of the children of mankind. In the cover of your presence, you, will, you hide them from the plots of men. You store them in your shelter from the stripes of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has wondrously shown his steadfast love to me when I was in the besieged city. I had said in my alarm, I am cut off from your sight. But you heard the voice of my pleas for mercy when I cried for help. Love the Lord, all you his saints. The Lord preserves the faithful, but abundantly repays the one who acts in pride. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for the Lord. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We speak the Catechism, the Ten Commandments. You shall have no other gods. You should not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Honor your father and your mother. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or his manservant or maidservant, his ox or donkey, or anything that belongs to your neighbor. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. <coughs> Excuse me. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. O oh Lord, keep us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, your mercies are new every morning. And though we deserve only punishment, you receive us as your children and provide for all our needs of body and soul. Grant that we may heartily acknowledge your merciful goodness, give thanks for all your benefits, and serve you in willing obedience. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Luther's Evening Prayer. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong, and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Amen. You have a good night.